Hello, this is Mr. D and Mr. D's product reviews. Please like my channel, please share my channel, please comment down below. Please click on the link above in order to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon in order to be notified in whenever I post any new videos. Today I will be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus that I had just recently got for my wife and the Android Pie operating system or UI that's on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus that I have for my wife. On the phone I am also using the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro holster case which is you know black and purple. My wife likes purple. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus in purple. Okay, as you can see, without the glare from the light. And I will also be using as a reference my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 with the Unicorn Beetle Pro holster case, which is here. So, <clears throat> there are some things that I would like to talk to you about in order to have you comment on because I know that this is issues that other people have commented on some things other people have not commented and made videos on at least not yet so let's get to a question okay Samsung they have installed on their Galaxy S10 S10 plus all right and I'm not sure about the S10e a plastic screen protector some people leave them on some people take them off and some people put on the white stone dome glass screen protector which is supposedly the only one that works with the fingerprint sensor but my question is this if you have a unicorn beetle pro case on the S10, S10 Plus, or the S10e phone, can you use the Whitestone dome glass in conjunction with the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro cases without having the screen protector coming loose from the phone? which had been previously reported in other people's videos on YouTube. Okay, that's just a question for somebody else who's willing to spend the $40 for the screen protector as well as the $20 plus for the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro holster case. So, that's just that question. So now let's get into the meat and potatoes of why I am making this video. I am making this video because of issues and problems that have arised with having the uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Also watching other people's videos on YouTube coming to find out that Samsung had removed the notification light off of the phone. People out there, just like myself, they want and need the notification light. And I hope that Samsung watches this, listens to this. I hope that many people make videos commenting, complaining about this one issue about the removal of the notification light and either Samsung have an update to have an option around the camera ring that we can use that 
be able to use the edge lighting in a specific way. So, when you charge your phone, sometimes you put the phone down on the wireless charger, it beeps, all right, and you have the charging light that comes on your phone so you know that it's charging. When it's fully charged, the light turns green. So, I have a magnetic wireless USB charger cable for each one of the phones. My Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I will plug that in. You can hear it beep. Screen comes on for a second. Screen goes off. And then you see the red indicator light telling you that the phone is charging. I have my always on display. But some people choose not to have the always on display. Which will have the battery percentage right here. So if you have no always on display, it will be a complete black screen and you won't have any indication whatsoever. So some people pick up their phone, they leave, they don't take a look to see how much of a charge they have on their phone. They might not be able to have a full day's charge. They might wind up having to find a charger. They might have to plug it in in their, in their car, plug it in somewhere else carry you know, a power brick with them in order to be able to charge their phone throughout the day or have to have a battery pack. Now, with my wife's Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, have the phone here, have the magnetic USB charging cable, alright, makes the sound, tells you that it's charging. But as I said, if you have the always on display turned off, you have no idea if the phone is actually charging. Okay? You don't have the edge lighting that goes around to tell you that it's charging. Around the camera, you don't have that where it goes around to tell you that it's charging. What Samsung should do is update the software to either the edge lighting to be able to go around in red while it is charging and when it turns to 100% the edge lighting turns green and or around the camera you could have it red where it's going around green when it's fully charged where it'll just stay green or you could have going around in white the percentage of like let's say 50% you'll have 50% of a light around it 75% you'll have 75% of light going around it. 100% charge it'll be all the way around the camera. Those are options that Samsung can do in order to have a notification light for the battery charging status. Okay so with that being said there are other issues. One being about the fingerprint sensor. There are a bunch of people on YouTube who have made videos about the fingerprint sensor. So my wife having used the phone, bringing it to work, bringing it in the car with her. So if my wife goes to pick up her phone while she's at a stoplight and she goes to use the fingerprint sensor she has issues with the fingerprint sensor where it does not register her thumb. So she tries a number of times. After doing it five times in a row, then it'll make her wait 30 seconds or a minute after that, you know, before she could try it again. But as I had said, if she's in the car, you know, she's going to be doing this when she's at a stoplight or something, so she can't interact with her phone unless she's trying to use the voice services on the phone, which are Bixby or Google or stuff like that, that she really don't like and she has issues with as well, but that's totally here nor there. So, other people had stated about taking off the plastic pre-installed 
uh, screen protector off of the phone. So with the plastic screen protector, you take that off, you have to go into the settings and you have to increase the touch sensitivity and you have to re-register the fingerprints. Even after taking off the plastic screen protector, increasing the touch sensitivity and redoing the fingerprints, my wife still has the exact same issue. So if you're trying to interact with your phone in any way, shape, or form while you are in your vehicle at a stoplight, not while you're operating the vehicle actively driving, then you might be having an issue with the phone. You might have to end up pulling over, put the car in park, shut the car off in order to be able to try to get the phone to turn on so you can get to the main screen in order to do what you need to do make a phone call send a text answer a text whatever it may be <clears throat> now another issue talking about interacting with the phone those of you who've had previous Samsung Galaxy phones or Android phones you have a bunch of icons on your phone with the icons on your phone all right there is an option in the settings for either icons or icons with the frames if you do not like icons with frames you could choose icons only so on my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 if you go to the settings and you go to display and then you go down to where it says icon frames okay let me go back so you can see so you go to display Click on that, scroll to where it says icon frames, click on that, then you have the option of icons only or icons with frames. If you choose that, as you can see, the icon with the frame shows up. If you choose icons only, the frame disappears. So now, I have shortcuts on my phone. Tap on the shortcut, it does a, a direct dial. So I have three of them, which are my mom, dad, and my wife. Just tap on them, and it, it calls them. No problem. Now on my wife's Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, on her phone, she has four of them and they have icon frames around them. There is nowhere in any of the menus any option whatsoever in order to be able to get rid of the icon frames. So Samsung, Google, both of you, whoever it is, please put out an update in order to be able to update that to be able to get rid of the icon frames. Because people like myself do not like the icon frames, do not want the icon frames under any circumstance. So that's, as I said, another great that you know, I have. Now, with the fingerprint sensor, besides trying to use the fingerprint sensor, if you try doing the fingerprint sensor five times unsuccessfully, you will have to wait 30 seconds or a minute, I forget what my wife had told me, 
before you would be able to do that okay so Samsung please get the sensitivity accuracy of the fingerprint sensor on the new phone figure it out and update that with the next update now there are also those of you that would like to have um, separate app sounds instead of a standard notification sound for when your apps are triggered and I am specifically talking about the ring video doorbell app okay there are a whole bunch of people out there that have the ring video doorbell okay so on my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 all right the ring video doorbell will be triggered and you will see what will happen open the front door so you can hear it and you can see that you had that pop up on the phone so I can hear the jingle instead of just a little bing which on my wife's Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus that is exactly what is happening all right so there should be something where you could use the sound from the app specifically rather than just having the standard notification sound only okay because if you have one sound for every type of notification you have no idea exactly what's going on some notifications yes you know they're very important other notifications they're not that important at all so if you have one notification that has and one notification sound that's for everything then that could be an issue you know with the with the phone so I will be moving my phone away so you won't be able to hear this phone now with my wife's Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus I'm going to shut the screen off all right Open the front door. Hi. So it just went bing like that. The other phone that you had heard with the jingle that was the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, which is my phone. So you get a text message with this phone you get a voicemail with this phone you wind up getting any type of pop-up notification it all goes bing so that is also something that samsung google and whomever else needs to work out with Samsung in order to be able to get this fixed with the next update on the phone because that is an issue with the phone okay with that so Samsung with any future phones please besides having the fingerprint sensor under the phone okay instead of being able to just do this turn the screen on and then swipe up okay on the note 9 
like I have, bring back the pressure sensor, put it up underneath the fingerprint sensor. So in this way, you can turn the phone on, you can wind up having the fingerprint sensor there. If that doesn't register, the pressure sensor can turn the phone on. So then this way, somebody like my wife or whomever else that is in their car that is trying to activate the screen to turn on on the phone will not have an issue with being able to get the phone to turn on in order to be able to bring it up in order to be able to tap on a shortcut like a direct dial like I have on my phone and on my wife's phone <clears throat> okay if there are any parts of the video that any of you agree upon please comment down below please if you have any suggestions comment down below if you agree with what I say please comment below if you disagree with everything or anything please comment below so I wish that Samsung and or Google would be able to get on the same page with any future update for the phone in order to be able to get this and these issues corrected as I had asked in the beginning of the video the Whitestone dome glass screen protector is supposedly the only tempered glass screen protector that will work with the fingerprint sensor on the Samsung Galaxy S10 phones okay which is the S10 and the S10 plus but my question as I had stated is this for the unicorn beetle pro case that I have for my wife's phone all right it fully encapsulates the phone will that work with the unicorn subcase unicorn beetle pro case on the Samsung Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus where the phone case will not dislodge the screen protector from the phone which had been previously discussed about by other people on YouTube. As I had said, my name is this is actually Mr. D's product review channel. Sorry about the mess up. Please click on the bell icon. Please click on subscribe. Please comment on this video on any and all portions of the video. Please share this video. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a very nice day.